Tired of long renders and huge files? Stay tuned and I'll help you fix it. Let's say you've got some awesome footage edited in Adobe Premiere and ready to be rendered. Only to start the render and be confronted with a long render time and a huge file when done. Well, if you have a semi-modern video card, you might be able to take advantage of its power to speed up your rendering by a factor of about four. Essentially taking a 15 to 20 minute render down to around five minutes using a free plugin called Vocoder. To install Vocoder, go to their website at V-O-U-K-O-D-E-R dot org, highlight the downloads in the upper menu, click Connector Premiere to download the connector plugin. Now click on where it says Vocoder 4.1 and on this page simply scroll down to the bottom and click to download the Vocoder MSI file. With both files downloaded, click on the Vocoder 4.1 file. Now I assure you this plugin is safe. To continue installing, click on the More Info link, then click Run Anyway. Click Next. Click the checkbox and click Next again. Click Next to confirm the install location. And finally, click Install to continue. And with that, the first plugin has been installed. Now, we must install the Adobe Premiere Connector. So, double click it to start. Just like the first plugin, click on the More Info link, then click Run Anyway. Click Next. Click the checkbox and click Next again. Click Next to confirm the install location. And now, click Install to continue. Now that we're done, click Finish to close the installer. Now that we've installed the required plugins, restart or start Adobe Premiere and load one of your project files. With Premiere loaded, go to Export your video and click on Format. Mouse over Vocoder and select it. Now make sure your resolution and frame rate settings are correct. Now click the Vocoder tab. This screen is where you will choose your desired codec and render type. Bring down the drop menu. Note, if you don't see an option for NVEC, QuickSync, or an AMD hardware encoder listed, then Vocoder does not support your video card. Moving on, I have two choices here for hardware encoding, H.264 NVENC and HEVC NVENC. Many people don't realize that YouTube now supports HEVC, or as it's known, H.265. H.265 is an upgrade over H.264, as it can produce the same quality of H.264 at half the bitrate. So in my case, I choose to render in H.265 for my YouTube uploads. So I select HEVC and VENC and click Apply. Now select the Option tab. Here we can see a ton of configuration options. Now I want the best possible quality for my renders, so for the preset I like to keep it on slow. For profile, I keep it on main. Now for strategy, I like to set it to CBR as its bitrate is easier to predict when it comes to file size. Now what do we set for bitrate? Well, at about 1080p resolution, a range of 5000 to 8000 is perfect for H.265. Having said that, I'm going to put it on the lower number of 5000. And at the end of the video, we'll show a side-by-side -side comparison of the difference between HEVC at 5000 and X264 at 10000. I don't know if RC Look Ahead has any effect on hardware rendering, but I know for a fact it does when it comes to software. So I like to pump this one up. I set it all the way to 60. And last but not least, I like to make sure B frames is set to 2. And from there, we're done with the setup. Click OK to continue. Now, all you gotta do is set your file location and click export to start. 
And there you have it. A 16 minute render brought down to only 4 minutes. Let's compare a video showing off H.265 and H.264 and you tell me what you think. The left side of the screen was rendered via CPU as H.264 with a bitrate of 10,000. The file size was approximately 950 megabytes. And the right side was rendered via VUcoder as HEVC with a bitrate of 5,000 and a file size of only about 450 megabytes. So, can you tell a difference between the two? Hopefully this video has helped you. And as always, if you like this video and you want more like it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Fix It, Fix It, Fix It. Thanks for watching.